office, all right? Oh, that was fine. Well, now, how about some guns? Huh? There's some forty fives here you might like. How about this one? Oh, this fancy one. That might suit you. Oh, yes, I got him all right. I always didn't like the parts of him, but I finally talked to him into it. He's right out there, son. Fine. Oh, how much do I owe you? $210, all told. Oh, that's fair enough. $210. Right. Can you tell me how far it is to uh, Rainbow Valley? Yeah, it's about 60 miles, right over the range. In any road there, nothing but a trail. You ride straight out of town, take the North Fork, and you can't miss it. The North Fork, yeah. yeah. Fine, thank you. What's the trouble, old timer? You ain't got any water, have you, young fella? Nellie's just over the rise. She's dug done for. Come tuckered out. Need water powerful bad. Sure, get on. After Nelly come to this valley, there was a cloud burst and washed out the road. We ain't been able to get new road put in. They bring in their oil and gas and spare parts for factory. I see. Well, I guess you might as well empty the canteen. All right. You can get it filled up again in Rainbow. Only eight miles. Thanks. That's where I'm heading for. Just keep on this trail and can't miss it.
Easy there, old farmer. Oh, it's all right. Just creep. You sure have done a good job on that gang. Looks to me like Nellie had the situation pretty well in hand. What were they after? I don't know. That was mail. What time they ever attacked me? They sure raised all the neighbors in the miners. What's the matter with the law? Well, they ain't none to speak of. Marshals down the feet about 60 miles over the range. We ain't got no road. Just a trail. Why don't they build a road? Like that too, son. The gang keeps running off the workers. Towns folks are getting a petition to bring the law and order in here. Well, I guess that'll fix you up until we can get into a doctor. <laughs> Much right, boy. You you better keep your horse on the back and ride in with me. All right, I'll do that. tried to hold you up today. You're crazy. This fellow's down with me all day. You've got the wrong man. Not for my money, I haven't. Can you identify him, old timer? Well, they was behind me all the time, and I didn't get a good look at him. Well, in that case, I guess we'll have to let him go. But I still think he's a man. Say, that fellow's a fighter. That's what we need around here. He just drove in with George. 
I'll go and have a talk with him. Yeah, get the rest of these names, will you? All right, buddy. Time is. Oh, oh, Miss Hillman. Once you can meet John Martin, he's going to live with me for a while. Thanks, Uncle George. I think I've seen about enough of your friend, Mr. Martin. After what he did to Mr. Rogers in sight, I'm surprised he has not you unconscious. Well, what do you think of that? He fallen for you already. Yeah. He's just crazy about me. Hello, George. Hi, fellow. I just want to bring your friend here and handle that situation in the street. You are a fighter. And that's one thing we need in this community. Yeah, I say he's a fighter. You want to see what he done to that gang when they tried to waylay me today? John? Powell runs the general store. He's kind of headed things around here. This is John Martin. I'd like to have you take charge of our road crew, Martin. Thanks, Mr. Powell. That sounds mighty interesting. I think I'll take you up on this. Fine. I'm glad you will. You will be doing a great service for the whole valley. What a fine bunch of sheep hunters you turned out to be. Let an old man get away from you. Oh, we'd have got him all right. Only well, this new guy comes up from behind and puts one over on us. Besides, what do you want Hale for? I thought you got that girl in the post office job. Hell, I did. I didn't know she was going to put old Hale in there, and we've got to get him out so we can put our own man in. The only way we can stop that road and get Butch out of the pen. How do you figure? Well, we need that petition to get Butch out. At the same time, we'll keep the law out of this valley. Get it? Yeah, I see. This is where the road used to run before a cloud burst marked most of it away and a landslide covered up the rest. We've stood our screws from time to time in an effort to clean it out. But so far, every attempt has been blocked by this gang. Oh, I see what they're trying to do. They figure that if they can keep that road from going through, if they can get the miners to discourage, they'll sell out at the gang's own price. That's it, exactly. We thought we had them licked a short while back when we captured Butch Gold on one of their raids and sent him to prison. We figured that without Butch, they wouldn't get very far. But there still seems to be a pretty definite scheme of organization behind them. I know you probably think that we are taking an awful trip, picking an outsider like yourself. But I'm a triple reader of character. I feel sure that you are on the level. Furthermore, from what George tells me, and from what I saw myself, I think you are the one man who won't be intimidated by this gang. Thanks a lot for your confidence, Mr. Powell. I think I'm going to like this job. I took engineering at school. What are your plans? This is the original survey. The road started here, continued on up the canyon, across the pass. The first mile up the canyon should be pretty smooth sailing. Well, I don't see where we'll have any trouble as long as you can give me enough men. The only thing we'll have to watch out for is to see that the gang doesn't catch his napping. Well, that part of it is up to you, Martin. I'll see that you get the men in the powder. Well, when can you get underway? I'm ready now. All right, then, we'll start tomorrow. Right 
the signal to get under cover. They're coming from both sides. Get that tin can out of here before it blows us over. They're making no attack now. Boss, we gotta get rid of Martin or he's gonna put that road through. 
Time enough to take care of him when Butch gets out. First thing to do is to get him out. Taking all signed will be turned into the post office tomorrow. I'll get it if you fellas keep Hale out of the way. The girl tells me that he's meeting the pack train in the morning. Get him, take him to the ranch, and hold him there until I get the petition. How in the world did you ever find me? It was a cinch. I forgot this is the only car in the valley. I just followed it. Now, come on. We can get out this back window. Leave Nell in the mail? Certainly. Well, I can't do that. i got to get them out, too. Oh, all right. I'll see if the coast is clear.
Yes, just closing. I wonder if you could let me have some stamps. Certainly. About a dollar and two? Yes, that's right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
John Martin ain't around, is he? No, he's not. Like him? Not exactly. He doesn't come around here much. Well, it's just as well. That guy's an ex-convict. Fell out this whole valley if he had a chance. He wouldn't do that. Oh, wouldn't he? Say, what's the matter with you? Falling for him? No. I thought you had more sense than that. you think? Your old pal, Butch Golf's in town. He wants to see you. Well, I'd like to see Butch, too. Into the past, 
We'll be there in no time. I was right about him. That's why I wrote to Governor. Hey, Uncle George. What the hell is that going on? Hey, we've got to stop that mob. Come on. that boys and hold them on. That thing ready to touch off? Sure, but you can't set it off now. It's right on top of your own man. Roger, you can out and tell the boys to retreat up over the cliff and get that bunch under the blast. I'll touch it off in about five minutes and we'll wipe them all out at once. Okay, Chief.
shot your own men, Gulp. Parker's never reached him. Now, come on. Get up. Get going. decided to surrender when your men got caught in their own trap. Trap? That's part of the road work. Gold had all the dynamite, so I had to use him and his men to get the road through. We've been investigating this case for a long time. I went to prison to get the goods on Gold. Why, you... Hey, Gold! Hey, wait a minute! Wait a minute! This young fella... You're a little late, George. The whole thing's cleared up and the road's through. The road's through? Well, look. I didn't think six weeks ago we were going to see that. Hey, John. Remember the battle we had up there? Eh? 